Welcome back to the Relaxing Ghost Channel here on YouTube. As always, your host with the most ghost. Today we got the most powerful rest most powerful families in wrestling to this DVD set. Um Pretty sure this was a 2007 release. 2007, yep, with a six hour runtime. Um, overall, not the best DVD, you know. So this would feature the Orton, Guerrero, McMahon, Von Erich, Hennig, Wyndham, Ganya, the Hearts, the Vachon, Cologne, the Maivia Johnson. Graham, Rougeau, Funk, and Briscoe. So right away, I'm going to kind of throw a red flag at this set. And, um, you know, for this DVD to be called The Most Powerful Families in Wrestling, um, I think they kind of overdid it here. Um, I think they just kind of just threw all the families in here instead of throwing the, you know, most powerful families they turn it into the every family of professional wrestling um the ortons no the hennigs no windhams not really i would say the ganyas yes the hearts vashon no um cologne not not really my via johnson no but the anawaii family yes so it's kind of weird they split the Maivia Johnson apart from the Anawaii family, um, the Graham family. Um, yes and no. You know, we're talking about Eddie Graham from Florida, then yes. But superstar Billy Graham, who wasn't even related to them, then no. The Rougeos, no. Um, the Funks and the Briscoes are, are you know, weird because... They did run the Texas and uh, Georgia f territories for a long time, but, uh, you know, other than that, they weren't really, you know, pretty powerful families. Um, so I, I would give the Funks and Briscoes a pass on this one, but, I mean, you could pr probably cut about half of those families out of this list. Um, you know, I did enjoy the documentary part for the most of it, but, I mean... I, I think it's just overkill trying to involve so many in this. Um, like I like I'm saying here is this thing went about two hours, and you know we got so many families here; they're just getting cut off at, at a very early point. So let's run down the mat matching matches and the insert here. So. Um, the, the disc art is pretty plain. It doesn't really say, you know, pretty powerful families. Um, I, <sighs> hosted by Carlito, um, didn't enjoy his part, you know. So we got the most powerful families in wrestling covers the most influential families in the history of, in the history of sports entertainment. Families that have produced multiple generations of superstars. Fans learns. Fans learn what it's like to grow up in the professional wrestling in industry through extensive interviews with family members: Cowboy Bob Orton, Randy Orton, Chavo Guerrero, Triple H, Vince McMahon, Shane McMahon, Kevin Von Erich, Dory Funk Sr., The Rock, as well as Stone Cold Steve Austin, Roddy Piper, Mick Foley, Benoit. Dusty, Dusty Rhodes, Ric Flair, Shawn Michaels, and more. So we got this DVD includes more than a dozen bonus matches, including several never before available on DVD. Um, there they list some of the matches. Um, the match listing is fairly decent, but I mean, it, it's just overkill. Similar to Allied Powers, the greatest tag teams. Um, and instead of including the greatest tag teams, they pretty much included, you know, every tag team that was somewhat popular um same thing here um you know the Wyndham rotundo family you know not really the most powerful family um ever 
you know, they, they did produce some good stars. Um, this might be a, a one of those mistitled DVDs. So let's run down the insert documentary portion here. So we got weighing in on family ties. Then they run down the Ortons, the Guerreros, the McMahons. They go through some father and son pairings, you know, like Shane and Vince, Kurt Hennig and the uh, Axe, Larry Hennig, several others. We got the Wyndhams, the Graham, the Anawaii family, the Ganyas, the Hearts, the Vashon, the Cologne. I mean, you could make a DVD for every family here and um, it would be somewhat decent. You know, they did produce the AWA DVD, the Hart Family Anthology. They produced the, uh, you know, the, the Triumph and Tragedy of World Class. I'm surprised they haven't produced a, a you know, so, Samoan uh, Dynasty DVD. We run down the Von Erics, the Rougeos, the Funks. We got questionable family ties, which include like Edge and Christian, um, Undertaker and Kane, different, you know, oddball pairings that, you know, we appear to be brothers on TV, but, you know, we're nowhere close to being brothers. Um, the Briscoes, the Maivia Johnson family. So, you know, pretty much that's only uh, Rocky Johnson and The Rock. So, disc one, we got five matches here. High Chief Peter Maivia and Chief J Strong, Strongbow versus Alibaba and Baron Michael Cicluna. Then we got Kerr Hennig versus Greg Gagne. Fabulous Rougeos versus the Bushwhackers. Barry and Kendall Wyndham versus Michael Hayes and Lex Luger. We got some interviews with Deuce, Jeff Hardy, Chavo, and Barry Wyndham. Disc 2. Some more decent matches here. Got Bob Orton Sr. and Jr. versus Jeff Ports and Rocky Smith. Kevin David and Kerry versus Wild Bill Irwin. PVT F. Dusick and Tenju. WCCW Star Wars. Got Blackjack Mulligan Sr. and Jr. versus Rick Harris and Jim Nelson. The NWA tag title match. Jerry and Jack versus Ricky Steamboat and Jay Youngblood. Starcade 83. Los Guerreros vs. Mike Enos and Crusher Krugnoff and Tom Burton. Got Brett, or Brett Owen, Bruce and Keith vs. Sean and the Three Knights. Dusty Rhodes and Dustin Rhodes vs. Terry Funk and Buckhouse Buck. Terry and Dory vs. Public Enemy from ECW. So a pretty rare match there. Rocky Maivia vs. The Sultan, WrestleMania 13. Oh man, they could have picked any match. Other than that, why not their No Mercy uh, 2000 or whatever match they had after that? Brian Christopher and Jerry Lawler versus Ivan Putsky and Scott Putsky. Uh, Eddie Guerrero and Chavo Guerrero versus Charlie Haas and Shelton Benjamin. And Undertaker versus Randy Orton. So fairly decent match listing. I mean, could have been a lot better though, but Discard, I, I like that. But, uh, I mean, for the most part, for the most part, this isn't the greatest DVD ever. Um, really could have, you know, cut half of these families out and um, made it, you know, a lot more significant DVD. So, I don't know, overall... I am going to give it a thumbs down because I think they just crammed so much into this and um, it really threw off what the DVD was intended to be. I mean, I, I thought we would have heard of, you know, McMahon pretty much blowing out all the territories during the, the mid 80s. You know, the successes of Georgia and Florida Championship Wrestlings, um, a lot of the Von Erich and the world class AWA stuff, a lot of different stuff like that. So. Take some time and subscribe, guys. Let me know your thoughts on the Most Powerful Families DVD. We'll talk to you later. Peace.